新宿の借りをここでまさかランスロット並みの速ささえ倒せばそんな武器なんか If you haven't seen the show, you gotta watch the show. I mean, if you love mechs, I'm pretty sure you've already seen this show. I'm surprised that you haven't. But Netflix, surprisingly, I, had, I totally forgot that they started streaming this thing, or that they were going to be streaming Code Geass.、Uh, it, was a, it was a welcoming surprise. I'm definitely re watching this thing again after like the hundredth time now. But I'll definitely. Definitely never forget Toonami for, for showing me this series, Kogiyas.、Um, Toonami. If it wasn't for Toonami, I definitely wouldn't be into anime as much as I am into it right now.、And、I'm pretty sure that goes the same for everyone, a majority of people. That, that's the reason. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why many of us are watching this stuff. But anyway, let's get to the drawing. So, here you see me working on the line art. Probably the best part right here, that butt.、Uh, dude, Colleen has one of the best butts ever, dude. And this here, I plan on printing her out. So, I'll be putting a link in the description if you want to buy prints. There'll be decals, stickers. You go ahead and go in my store and order one. I won't be. I should say that they won't be up the moment this video goes up because I do still have to send them to go print. So, I mean, go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you're really interested in buying one of these. But let's start getting more into this process that I've been going through that I'm using right now. So, To get the proportions, if you notice, the proportions on the characters of Code Geass are very elongated. They're. If you've ever tried to draw a character from that show or the series, you'll see that they can be six. They, they might look like they're 20 feet tall or something, but trust me, they're six feet. I mean, not only can you read it in like their, their wiki page or something, but they. Their body proportions have just been moved up a little bit. Like their, their waist, you can definitely see that. Their waist has been moved up, making those thighs and calves longer. And then the, the,、um, the stomach area has been also a little bit more elongated for some characters. The arms, they look much more longer than a regular human's. Just because of、uh, the elongated kind of spine area. Some characters, not all. But it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be.、Um, I mean, after a few minutes on anything, you know, it'd get easier.、Um, a little problems I did have was the hair.、Uh, I was using reference, you know. I took a lot of screenshots from the series. Um, I didn't feel that there w a s some ones that I wanted to use online. I mean, if you want to look for some reference photos online, obviously that's up to you. But I sometimes like to go to the original source. I just,、um, you know, screenshot it or take a picture of it. The quality doesn't really matter in my case or in my opinion, as long as you just know what you're looking for. And as you'll want to get the pose that you want, just think it up. And then start thinking on how parts of the bodies 
will move, or in this case the hair. You know, if the head's turning here, like in Colin's case, the head's kind of turning to your... Well, right now it's looking to your left. But, you know, the direction that the head's turning should be in relation to with the hair. So I kind of give it that little flow in the back, kind of like a hair whipping motion to get that. Um, and you just got to make sure your sketch is pretty solid. I mean, here I spent a lot of time in the sketching phase. I mean, I know right now you're watching the line art, which is kind of like the main thing, but I did spend quite some time on the sketch. And um, since I am going to be printing, printing this out, you'll see me do thicker lines on the outside than on the inside. That's so when it does get printed, you know, you get those nice thick black lines. And here I'm just messing around with the, the mouth area and the face. I think the face obviously has to have more work because that's like the main thing that makes Colin Colin you know but here I do want to mention that these eyes are just placements obviously I want the eyes anyone would like the eyes to really stand out so right now in this in this moment I'm just putting in uh, eye placements just so I know where the eyes are gonna be and where they go but um that's not really a uh, important it's, it, it's still kind of in the sketching phase for the, uh, the the face and so I just left that alone and I go straight into the clothes and here I make a new layer for the clothes entirely and I start um, people call it people call it line sculpting if I haven't mentioned that before I'll, I'll be mentioning that over and over line sculpting is is a huge thing I mean you probably have done it even though you don't know the actual word, but it's a very helpful thing, the line sculpting. Make the line and then erase parts of it. And then I have to remember also that the parts on the outside have to be thicker than the parts on the inside because of printing purposes. And here you see me working on the leggings, man, the, the Colleen's butt here came out so freaking nice. And here I do that little nice red bow get those little accessories oh yeah the accessories those accessories are made on a different layer also so that goes for the that little bow there that I'm doing right now and then for that little I don't know what that's called on her wrist kind of like a I don't even know what those are called man they're like little cuffs you know I guess just call them cuffs so that cuff there the tail the little bunny tail so freaking adorable and so hot i got a little bow tie in there that's always it's always fun to draw those bow ties it's just so cute man what else can i say you got those bunny ears these bunny ears were fun to draw i don't know why it's weird when like so for some reason i'm having fun drawing <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, it was pretty fun drawing this piece right here. And I did duplicate the layer to make them look darker, and then I put it above the old layer. Just gives it a nice, more darker look. And I continue with some edits because this is on top of the the bod the body line art so I duplicated the body line art and then hid the original one and on the new one I deleted parts of the body so it wouldn't be overlapping with the clothesline and here you see me do a selection I did a selection of the body and then on a new layer I filled it in with the green color so I can use uh, so I can start painting inside of that color so I made a separate layer for each really important color, kind of like the skin here is on a separate layer. And then the clothes, those leggings and the shirt, I guess you'd call it, they're on the same layer. Um, I, I think it'd be much more easier. I, kinda, I, I really don't like having so many layers. And then the accessories, which in my case the accessories would be that little bow you see now, the shoes, 
the tail, the bunny ears, those cuffs. Uh, I'd consider those accessories, the bow tie, and then the hair I have it on a different layer too. So I just focus on more of the flat colors. Um, see here, just pinning in all the red for the hair. And also, I did fix up a lot of the lines inside. I made some more darker, I made some more thinner, and then here I, this is still the placement for the eyes, I'm just messing around because like I said, I want the eyes to really, really stick out, so this is just placement right now. You know, always don't worry about things while you're doing them, just keep notes of them. In this case, I kept notes of the eyes that I really, really wanted to come out nice. And so then I made a new layer for, or a new folder layer for shadows. So the flats are going to be in one folder, and then the shadows are going to be in a new folder that I, that I clipped to the, the, uh, the green layer. That green flat color that I put, everything's going to be clipped down to that. So then that way everything's stuck in that green. And so here I go with the, the dark shadows. So, I really, really like this shirt thing. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, I'll just call it a shirt, man. Just the uh, messing with the shadows. Uh, I kind of have a spotlight in mind, you know. I kind of still feel like I'm in the casino with her. That same, uh, that same scene from season two. Kind of like, casinos have like a lot of pretty lit areas. And then... Here we go with some light. I didn't do a lot of light, just kind of like the skin area and a little bit on the legs. And then, made the hair here. I think the hair came out very, very nice with the darks and the lights. And like I said, the lights also go on a completely different folder. If you want that, trust me. And this is where I start messing around with the face, man. The face is your gold, the, the main piece. Without the face, there is nothing. And I made this on a completely different layer. So I went back and I started messing around with things, you know? See what worked, what didn't work. And I put everything away so I could just focus on these eyes, man. And I do want to mention that there will be a nude version of her that I'll be working on later. And I will be uploading it to my patreon which will be in the link in the description with my store and my social media thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys next time